So first up, let's set up a project template that we can reuse in the future. For example, if you're recording the same band again and again, that means you're going to have the same artist, so you can have individual tracks for each of them, and you can keep using a blank template to drag the recordings in and then move forward with your process. So in the case of my own personal band, I've got basically five different types of audio and there's a guitarist, there's a trombonist, there's a trumpet player, a singer and parts from a computer. So I'm going to make a track for each instrument. So let's color them as well. And it's good to have a consistent uh, coloring format so that whenever you apply these to each project, you will be able to be very consistent and you'll easily know what color everything is assigned to. Okay, I'll settle with these colors for now and I'll just save this. So I have a section where I save all my templates and for me it's in a section called templates here and you know this is going to be my blank blank band recording template for example. And so anytime I open up a project and if I want to have specific types of processing, I can add those plugins inside here or there. And every time I open up the project, it will have all those plugins or whatever I need necessary. And it just takes me one step forward to editing quickly. Let's get down to adding some audio files. <laughs> 